Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep and in the, this next episode of concept capsule, today we are going to discuss about the concept of core kern or kernel. First of all, you must understand this is a topic related to strength of materials, column and strut topic. Okay, so guys, we will be having the discussion on this. You know, in this concept capsule series, we are taking the topics about which we are discussing and these are those very very important and interesting topic which are asked in interviews which are asked in gate exam engineering services exam isro dido bar type of examination so they are some very very important wonderful concept of mechanical and civil engineering so guys now let us start without wasting the time those students who are watching me for the first time this is some introduction about me so my name is dheera sadana i am having 10 plus years of experience have written many research and review paper, qualified many examinations and these are my areas of expertise. So guys, without wasting your time, let us start the discussion on the topic. So my dear, the topic is concept of core or kernel. So my dear, whenever we are talking about core or kernel, what it is actually? My dear, actually, whenever we are talking about columns, so whenever loading is there, in eccentric way means if load is not passing through CG or centroid then my dear it would be creating a couple which will result into some tensile stresses so my dear whenever we are talking about the columns they are generally made up of brittle materials like concrete and all so brittle materials are weak in tension so my dear we want to find out a region in which if eccentric loading is applied in the column we would not be having any kind of tension in the column. So we are in search of that region and that region of cross section is given the name of core or kern or kernel. So my dear, as you can see, this is defined as a part of cross section in which if an eccentric force is applied, will not create any tension in the column. So my dear, that I will be showing you with an example. Let us say I am having a column like this and my dear, when I am having this column like this, let us say this is the cross section. Okay. So my dear, this is the cross section. Obviously, cross section would be having some centroid or CG. So let us say this is CG or centroid. So my dear, if some force is acting at CG or centroid, then my dear, this force will not be creating any kind of, any kind of tension because it is direct compressive forces. And if you want to find out the stresses because of this, then my dear stresses because of this will be coming directly compressive like this. This type of stresses would be coming. Okay guys, so this kind of stresses would be coming like this. So this is sigma C will be minus P by A. Yes, it is sure. So this is the case my dear when this is direct compressive force passing through CG or centroid. Then my dear what happen if I say that this force is becoming eccentric then what will happen if I show you if I show you the column in this way like this like this so my dear if we say that this force is acting at this position it means it is somehow eccentric to CG or centroid. My dear, when it is going to be eccentric to CG or centroid, then if you will try to see the effect of this force at CG or centroid, what we will do? You can see there is zero force on the CG or centroid. So, we will apply to equal and opposite forces, P and P, in such a way that net force at the centroid is still zero. And this P, and this P, are making a couple as they are to equal and opposite forces separated by a distance E. They are creating a couple like this. If you see this couple carefully, so my dear, this couple is coming downward on the left hand side, going upward on the right hand side. So it means it is creating, it is creating compression in this part and tension in this part. So if I divide this column into two part, in this part tension will be coming because of couple and in this part compression will be coming because of couple and we are left with this force and this couple. So if I show you the same on the next slide, we are left with this force 
and this couple okay this is the case when force is applied here eccentric okay so in my figure i have shown the force in the left hand side okay let us take our case only if i will be considering our case this is the column the things are going to be same only and this is cross section so you know that my dear if this is the force and this is the couple let me show you in the previous slide where was the couple couple was like this only so couple is like this so my dear you know that if i show the bending stress and normal stress distribution so because of this p and because of this p into e because of the p my dear we will be having direct compressive stresses so because of p we will be we will be having direct compressive stresses like this they are going to be p by a compressive and because of the couple we will be having bending stresses you can see here it is compression here it is tension so the stress distribution will be like this okay so like this now my dear if i show you this stress distribution carefully and if you are capable of looking at it my dear just look at it if we see the left hand side of the fiber this is compressive this is compressive this is negative this is negative negative plus negative will always be negative so my dear left hand side of this axis this axis is always under compression and if someone ask you the stress is coming it is given as minus p by a which is nothing but the stress coming because of forces and minus m by z which is the formula of bending stress because my dear why i am writing m by z because my dear we will be talking about the extreme case here the stress is going to be maximum so my dear at this maximum stress fiber the compressive stress will be this and as you can see there are two negative quantities additions are there it is always going to be negative only but my dear if you are talking about the right hand side of the fiber then my dear this is compressive but this is tensile so to right hand side there are chances that the net stress can come as positive stress which we don't want why because we don't want column to be under tension so my dear if we give the guarantee that in this extreme fiber when tension is maximum because you know in bending outer fibers have maximum stress if we can save this fiber if we can save this fiber from getting tension the entire column will never be in tension because this is the fiber where tensile stress is maximum so if this tensile stress is going to be nullified by this compressive we will never be getting any tension in the column my dear so my dear let us see the right hand side calculation you will be writing that stress on the right hand side fiber as minus p by a plus m by z so my dear you very well know that uh, if this dimension is going to be b b is the width this dimension is going to be d then z and a will be bd uh, okay we have taken the force in this way this is the couple and this axis is acting like neutral axis so my dear we will be having d b square by 6 this is the value of z those kind of thing we have seen in the bending topic my dear so we will be putting the value minus p area of cross section my dear if you will tell me this is b into d so we will put the value here it is minus p by bd plus p into e by this is db square by 6 and if you are saying that it should not be having any kind of tension put it less than equals to 0 by putting it less than equals to 0 you will be getting e to be less than equals to b by 6 eccentricity to be less than b by 6 this is coming my dear when we have taken the load to be eccentric load to be eccentric in this direction if load is going to be eccentric in other direction if load is coming e forward or e backward we will also be doing the same calculation again and when you will be doing again same calculation this time you will get eccentricity to be less than equals to d by 6 
सो माई डियर इफ यू सी द क्रोस सेक्शन केयरफुली इफ यू सी द क्रोस सेक्शन केयरफुली दिस इज द कोलम दिस इज द एक्सिस दिस इज द एक्सिस सो माई डियर दिस वॉज बी दिस वॉज डी सो माई डियर we were having this centroid with us this was the centroid so if you are saying we can go b by 6 in this way b by 6 in this way so this b by 6 eccentricity is allowed this side also b by 6 will be allowed because both the side the effect is going to be in the similar way if we are going to take load in this direction or in that direction the effect only will be like that that whatever the stress is coming in right hand side they will come to the left hand side for the different case so my dear if you see this is b by 6 this is b by 6 similarly my dear you will find out here d by 6 d by 6 so here you will find d by 6 d by 6 so my dear if you see this you need to take that region in which if eccentricity is provided to the load it must not be coming in tension many people would be thinking sir this is b by 3 total this is d by 3 total but my dear if you are going to take this rectangle as the core corner kernel then there will be problem because this is b by 6 this is d by 6 but if we go diagonally this distance will be more than b by 6 and d by 6 so because of that when we are going for core corner kernel for this case what we choose is if i show you the cross section if i show you the cross section only then my dear i am telling you that this was b this was d and my dear if you are going to choose like this and like this so my dear you will be finding out this we will join this so my dear this is that region which is said to be core or kern or kernel in this anywhere you take your load my dear wherever you want you take your load and my dear you will find there is no tension in the column okay and my dear as this is covering one third part of width and one third part of depth that is why sometime it is also given the name of middle one third rule why middle because it is using middle one third part of the cross section so sometime it is also known as middle one third rule is it clear guys yes and the same kind of concept we can also have in case of the circular cross section so that we have seen this was the rectangular cross section i am showing you again so this distance was b by 3 and this distance was d by 3 this is core the same if we see the circular section my dear when we are going to have circular section as you know circle is same from all the sides if you see the circle you can see from center all the points are at the same distance so there is no problem like in rectangle we were having so here whenever you are going to find out the core corner kernel in the same way like we have done you will be getting this much portion which is going to be d by 8 distance from the center d by 8 distance from the center and as a total it will be d by 4 so it is said to be middle one fourth rule middle one fourth rule why middle one fourth rule because d by 8 d by 8 will become d by 4 so my dear this is how we can find out those regions in which if we apply the direct compressive load it will not be creating any kind of tension and such kind of regions are given the name of core kern or kernel so guys just like the session share the session and subscribe the channel goodbye for this session guys we are going to meet soon in the next episode of concept capsule signing off for today goodbye